Counseling Micro Skills Experience Near Responses with Sandra Collins and Gina Ko. This video demonstrates both experience near and experience distant responses. Experience near responses are perceived by the client as meaningful, relevant, helpful, insightful, or otherwise a fit for them. Experience distance responses on the part of the counselor are perceived by the client as incongruent, not applicable, out of sync with their thoughts or feelings, or otherwise not fitting well for them. Hi, Gina. Welcome back. Hi, Sandra. I'm looking forward to our session today. I'm wondering, as we start into our conversation today, if there's any lingering um, thoughts around what we talked about last week, which was your idea that's kind of percolating around developing a YouTube channel or some other kind of format to do short videos around the anti-racism um, and activism stuff that you're very passionate about. Providing transparency, overviewing. Mm -hmm. How does that sound as a starting place? Checking perceptions. Sounds great. <laughs> okay. Tell me a little bit about what you've been thinking about this week as you ponder that further. Probing. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, yesterday I created a video for the, um, the Asian Gold Ribbon campaign mm. uh, started by, of course, our colleague, Dr. Gina Wong, the I Am Asian video for Asian Heritage Month. It was about a minute long, but I think I took so many takes. <laughs> so that experience had me realize it's, it's quite a bit of emotional work time consuming and also you know it's 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 going to be a bit here to start that channel so that was interesting that happened yesterday mm -hmm. so it kind of picks up on one of the themes that we were talking about in the earlier video video which is weighing the question of is now the right time because you recognize that it's going to take this um, time and space and energy and Maybe you have it, maybe you don't have it right now. Reflecting meaning. Experience near response. Hmm. Well, another uh, interesting thought that came up yesterday was that even though it took me a few takes, it didn't take me that long, but it took about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm thinking, Sandra, if I can make it like a weekly practice, even invest in just some practice time, even 15 to 20 minutes per week for, for now and see how that goes. And again, the videos don't have to be perfect, right? It's just practice. So that's mm -hmm. where I'm thinking that I can start. Yeah, so by investing in that practice time, you're developing your skills and then you have a chance to see, okay, is this going to become easier over time? And then maybe it will be containable within the space that you have available. Reflecting meaning. Experience near response. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I also think the starting is the hardest part. So perhaps I might need a, some sort of a routine or schedule to start mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. once a week. <laughs> so what was it like when you watched that video that you completed this week? Questioning. <laughs> well, I am, we are our own worst critics, right? So <laughs> when I watched it, I wasn't 100%, this is great, but it's good enough. <laughs> and, and I sent it and my, the team said it was good. It was good. So yeah, it, it was hard to watch it actually. <laughs> In some ways that maybe um, was a bit of a deterrent because you realized maybe you weren't as good at, as, at, at it as you thought you might be. Reflecting meaning. Experience distant response. Yes, and I think with that, practice will make better. <laughs> so that's probably what I need. Hmm. And I also need to be more gentle and kinder to myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gina. You kind of resonated a bit with the idea of not being good enough. Tell me a little bit more about that. Probing. Um, I guess through my years of grad school, and Sandra, you may know I've been, I, I did lots of years of schooling and uh, 
I think being, you know, constantly evaluated and marked and, you know, observed. So sometimes those moments of, oh, maybe I didn't reach right, the goal of getting an A on this paper, or maybe my session when my team watched me didn't go as well. So I guess this inner critic is real. So the inner critic really has become a significant ruling factor in your life. Reflecting meaning. Experience distant response. Mm, not so much a significant ruling factor. No, I wouldn't say that. How would you describe the, the inner critic? Questioning. I think the inner critic sort of um, can at times guide me, keep me on track. Um, it can be helpful sometimes. Okay. So the inner critic is um, it's kind of there in the background, like a voice that um, helps keep you on the path and warns you if you're going way too far off in one direction that may not meet the expectations of other people. Reflecting meaning. Experience distant response. Now that I'm in my 40s, Sandra, I'm not sure if it's so much of, about meeting expectations of others. It's more meeting my own expectations, I think. Um, so for example, if my team member tells me that, um, you know, that I am Asian video is um, not, not done so well and they expect more of me, for example, if I get that feedback. However, if I feel like that video really spoke to my own experiences and my own um, Asian-ness, I will actually listen to myself and I would speak up about that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You've become um, more of a censor for yourself um, in the sense that you can identify when you want to listen to the critic and when you don't want to listen to the critic. Reflecting meaning. Experience near response. Yes, that's, yes, Sandra. That's exactly it. A censor. Mm -hmm. 